Good evening and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kiran Kumar Shah. So I think uh, now it is safe to assume that everybody who is watching this video know about chat GPT or generative AI. But most of you may not know that chat GPT can be actually used to perform transaction monitoring. However, uh, there is uh, some caveat. In chat GPT, it is not recommended that you input personal identifiable information like uh, telephone number, let's say actual name of the customer, personal identification details. Actually, chat GPT also instruct that uh, you are not supposed to input those confidential information because of privacy and confidentiality issues. But in transaction monitoring, we need those personal identifiable information okay, to correctly analyze whether that transaction is suspicious or not in order to trace that transaction to the customer. So now what is the alternative? The alternative is you can create your own chat GPT for transaction monitoring. Some of you may be thinking that is very complex thing, but actually it is not. With few line of codes, you can create a uh, AI model. Okay, same like Chat GPT. Okay, now uh, let me give you an demonstration. Okay, so I have created this model, right? Uh, and I have inputted uh, my data in this model. Okay, let me show you that data. Okay, these are the transaction data, right? You can see there is a key ID, there is customer identification number, customer name, his or her account number, amount of transaction, debit credit, entry date, right? Conductor name, purpose of transaction, occupation, and so on, right? Now, I have already inputted that data in this model, and the, on the basis of uh, this data, I will ask this model different question same as chat gpt okay so first thing is let me add the code okay first thing i want to ask this model is whether there are customer who are doing structuring or who are doing transaction just below threshold so in context of nepal the threshold is 1 million right so let me ask the question as in executor same like chat gpt you have to be cautious while asking question to this model okay because more you are clear or more you ask relevant question or detailed question the uh, the better result you will receive from this model okay so uh, here the first question i am going to ask and don't forget to add question mark otherwise it behaves irrationally right uh, okay so let's see the result so you can see these are the action taken by model to derive this final answer so the final answer is kiran sa and kamal ko right now let's look at the our transaction data to verify whether it is correct or not so you can see this person has perform a transaction just below the 10 lakhs and this is the company who has done the transaction just equal to 10 lakh so the answer is correct so now let me ask uh, this model another question okay here i am trying to identify uh, fictitious transaction okay uh, fictitious transaction means uh, those type of transaction which are done without taking physical cash over the counter okay they are just transaction posted in the system without presence of physical cash as well as the person doing that transaction so uh, one feature to identify those type of transaction is that those transactions are done in a very short duration uh, let's say within one or two minutes so you may be asking why because 
since it doesn't involve uh, the presence of any physical cash as well as a person uh, and you are just posting that transaction in the system so it won't take any time whereas if uh, there was actual transaction with the involvement of money and person the transaction duration will be obviously 5 to 10 minutes right and this is very important in context of Nepal because uh, uh, our regulatory body actually find those organization who has done such type of fictitious transaction so let me ask uh, this model a question what is the name of the customer who has done transaction within duration of one minute okay so okay now let's run this model okay you can see uh, the model has identified the customer who may have done such kind of fictitious transaction is Rajiv Enterprises now let's verify from our data and you can see this is the Rajiv Enterprises and on the same day uh, this, per uh, this person has performed three transaction and within the duration of one minute right it is 12, 32, 33 and 34. Okay. Now let me ask this model one last question. That is, uh, that will be about identifying hidden beneficial owner. Okay. So, uh, here, uh, in this transaction data, I have assumed that the conductor okay the conductor is the person who comes uh, to the counter for cash withdraw and deposit right and uh, all this uh, and i forget to mention one thing that this all data are related to cash transaction okay right so here we uh, the conductor means uh, that it is the person uh, here the conductor means that the conductor is a person who comes to the counter right comes to the tailor for either cash deposit or withdrawal so if there is uh, anyone who is doing transaction on behalf of different entities right if the person is the same but he is doing transaction for different entities it means that that person must be linked in a some way with those entities okay or maybe he can be the owner of all those entities right so in this way so with this assumption we can we can try to identify whether such kind of beneficial owner can be identified from that transaction data so let me ask this question please give the name of the conductor who has done transaction with multiple customers okay now let's run this okay as you can see this has given the name of the that uh, name of the conductor as umes now let's verify from our data okay as you can see that this uh, the umes is the single conductor who has done transaction with various companies right so in this way this model has correctly identified that uh, beneficial owner uh, but uh, we are not sure whether this person is actual beneficial owner or not unless we investigate this customer right so in this way we can uh, create our own uh, AI tool 
to analyze transaction data. So there are various benefits for using this kind of model. First one is, which is very clear, that is it helps to identify suspicious transaction very easily as it can be seen from uh, this, this illustration, right? The another benefit is that suppose uh, let's say you came to know about different types of AML safety typologies and you are not sure that this kind of typologies or criminal uh, activities is happening in your organization or not. So in that case you can dump that transaction data whatever it may be cash, mobile or anything right and if you can create this kind of model and load that data into this model and ask uh, the question related to that AML safety typologies and if you see the results then you can create different scenarios but I will say that this kind of model removes your dependence on those kind of AML safety scenarios right you might have a hundred of those scenarios but your ultimate aim is to identify suspicious transaction so by using this kind of model you can easily identify those suspicious transaction without going through that tedious process of uh, looking at those scenarios verifying each alerts right and then investigating whether it is suspicious or not okay so in this way this model this kind of AI tool will help to re reduce your time and effort and another thing is that we can tune this model to make it more complex okay so here we are asking uh, this model different question so what we can do is we can create a different function for this kind of questions right just like creating scenarios so we can create a different function and we can just give this model the transaction data and ask that model to perform analysis okay and that model will choose different scenarios based on that data which it thinks suitable and give you the result so you can see here what is the potential of this kind of AI model and having that kind of capabilities will drastically reduce your time and effort okay now now the model will just give you the result right so there will be no need for verifying all those alerts coming from those scenarios okay the model uh, will identify those transaction which it thinks suspicious and you just need to investigate only that type of transaction so i hope you have understood uh, the concept right and you realize the potentiality of using such kind of ai tools so maybe in my next uh, video i will show you how this kind of model can be created right so till then if you have found this video useful then please do like share and if you don't want to miss uh, any of my new videos uh, similar kind of informational and interesting videos then please do subscribe my channel so thank you for watching have a good day